So you bought the Elgato Game Capture HD because not only do you want to stream or record consoles that use HDMI, which is the only video option available on other Elgato capture cards, but you also want to be able to use it for systems like the PS3, which has encrypted HDCP, or older consoles that use composite or component video inputs. Out of the box, the Game Capture HD comes with a connector for your PS3 specifically that plugs into the AV in port. This is all that you need to connect your PS3 to the Elgato and still have your video in HD without purchasing a converter to use with the HDCP. If when you went to add your Game Capture HD to your sources on OBS Studio, you constantly got a message in your preview that said, one moment please, or no signal, hang tight as we're going to run through a few different ways on how to fix this issue that will hopefully solve your problem. First, you need to make sure that the Elgato Game Capture HD software is not running in the background on your computer. This will conflict with OBS Studio. If this fixes your issue, then congrats. You're one of the lucky ones and can now stop watching the video. If not, then let's continue. If you haven't already, make certain that after you attach the PS3 adapter that came with the Elgato, that you reset your PS3 video settings to default by shutting off your PS3, then holding the power button until you hear not one, but two beeps from the console. At that point, you can let go, and the PS3 will start up in a factory default resolution. To remedy this, simply go to Settings, Display Settings, Video Output Settings, and select Component slash D Terminal. After that, select all resolutions that your TV or monitor supports and confirm your settings. Your console will take a moment to readjust as it applies these resolutions. If that didn't fix the issue with nothing showing in the preview, be sure to right-click the video capture device in your list of sources and select Properties. A new window will pop up, so now click Configure Video. After this, a prompt from Elgato software should also pop up. For Input Device, you can simply select PlayStation 3 from the drop-down list, and the preview should show up after a moment. I personally always select Other for my input device, with Component as my input. I do this instead of selecting PlayStation 3, as I have multiple video input types that I swap around with, but this is entirely up to you. In hindsight, it's pretty pointless since you'll have to swap these around anyway if you change your video input. Now, if you have the same problem that I did, where the Elgato software wouldn't pop up at all, make sure that Game Capture HD is on the list of exceptions in your Windows firewall. If that still doesn't work, double check that OBS Studio is also on that list. Neither were on my list, but I added both at the same time when I fixed the issue, so I'm not certain if you need permission for one or both. Regardless, it's best to have both on there. At this point, you shouldn't have any further issues and can start streaming or recording games from your PS3. Just don't forget to test your mic delay if you're doing commentary so that your voice matches up with your game, as the Elgato has a natural audio and video delay. 1500 milliseconds is a good place to start, but definitely test it as mine turned out to be lower. If after all of this, you still can't get OBS Studio to display your PS3, you may want to contact Elgato directly regarding the issue, as it is possible that you have a defective part. It's unfortunate, but it does happen sometimes. I hope that this video was of help, and that you're now able to utilize your Game Capture HD to its fullest for all your streaming and recording needs. If there's any confusion, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to help. I'm BirdieBox, and happy gaming!